Well, New Orleans has now officially passed 100 homicides this year, and that number is down compared to this time last year. But many experts are telling me crime is still high, and comparing it to last year's number isn't showing the full picture. Before the start of the week in New Orleans, three people were killed, and one was injured in four separate shootings. And this is an absolute crisis. According to the Metropolitan Crime Commission, New Orleans has now had at least 101 homicides this year. It's down from 110 this time last year, but still up significantly from years prior. Just because the number is smaller than last year's, former NOPD Superintendent Ronald Surpass says that doesn't necessarily mean crime is down. It's like saying the Saints lost 14 games last year, but this year they only lost 13 games. That's not very reassuring to the hundreds of people who have been shot and their family members killed. And summer is just around the corner, a season surpass says, when crime typically spikes. So how do we slow it down? City council and the mayor have to give the responses that they'll be taking from the police that don't have a police component. They have to fill that with some other branch of government. A solution, Surpass says, would free up the NOPD and keep citizens from waiting when police can't help. Appearing on the Eyewitness Morning News, City Council Vice President Helena Moreno said she is glad to see one viable solution, the state police on the interstate. At least, hopefully, if there's a significant state police presence on our interstates to, to slow down those interstate shootings because those, are in, those, are, those shootings in particular are getting innocent people in the crossfires. All in hopes to truly lower crime. Now, NOPD says one person has been arrested in connection to one of the overnight shootings. If you have any information at all about any of the incidents we saw from last night into this morning, you are urged to call Crime Stoppers. Reporting live from NOPD headquarters, Alyssa Curtis, Eyewitness News.